symmetry can be seen in many things around us. In nature, the flowers, the tree leaves, the beehives, the body of almost all animals, even human beings are the best examples of natural symmetry. Symmetry can also be found in man-made objects, for example, prints or clothes. A figure has line of symmetry if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide. Jewelers, architects and engineers also use the concept of symmetry. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Symmetry of geometric shapes, reflection and rotational symmetry. Here we will learn about symmetry of geometrical shapes. Symmetry. Symmetry is quite a common term used in day-to-day -day life. Let us observe a butterfly. When it folds its wings, each part of one wing fits exactly on the corresponding part of the other wing. A plenty of things in nature have a sort of balance in the arrangement of parts. This balance in the arrangement of parts is known as symmetry. The architectural marvels are beautiful because of this principle of symmetry. There are many kinds of balance or symmetry such as point symmetry, line symmetry, plane symmetry, etc. A figure has line symmetry if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide. There are some letters of the English alphabet which have line symmetry as shown in the example. Equilateral Triangle An equilateral triangle is regular because each of its side has the same length and each of its angles measure 60 degree. We will show its lines of symmetry by dotted lines. A line drawn from the midpoint of a side to its opposite vertex, that is the medians, are the lines of symmetry of an equilateral triangle. Hence, an equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. Rectangle In a rectangle, we find the line of symmetry by joining the midpoints of opposite sides. Hence, a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Square In a square, we find the line of symmetry by joining the midpoints of opposite sides as well as by joining opposite vertices. In figure 1 and 2, the line of symmetry separates the square into two equal rectangles and in 3 and 4, the line of symmetry separates the square into two equal triangles. Hexagon A regular hexagon has all its sides equal and each of its angles measure 120 degree. Octagon. An octagon has eight lines of symmetry. Isosceles Triangle An isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry. The line joining the midpoint of the base to the opposite vertex is the line of symmetry of an isosceles triangle. Semicircle A semicircle has one line of symmetry, that is, the perpendicular bisector of the diameter.
circle. A circle has many infinite lines of symmetry. Every diameter is the line of symmetry of the circle. An angle with equal arms has one line of symmetry. The bisector of the angle is the line of symmetry of that angle. A line segment has one line of symmetry. The perpendicular bisector of the line segment is its line of symmetry.